All right, all right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory uh, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhakwadash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Rubel. We want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering, wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, we say Shalom to you, brothers, you know. And we say Shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe. And all meekness and humbleness, you know, uh, we say shalom. Uh, we the brothers from GMS Mommy Camp. I'm your brother Zakaria. Brother Samak. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhakadash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know what I mean? It's Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson, this sit-down lesson, is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know? And our lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhakadash. It's going to be basically on going into prophecies, all right? What the, what the Lord uh, had holy man write down, all right, these prophecies that's going to happen in our lifetime, all right? The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. all right? Wars and rumors of wars, pestilence. Those all uh, is going to happen because the Lord spoke of these things, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, that's his will, and his will is going to uh, prosper. And he has the prophets, you know, started with our apostles, Elders Great Millstone, to bring these, prophet, to bring these uh, prophecies out. All right, before they happen, all right, that's that's what a prophet does. He's prophesies, he say all right, events, all right, and then they eventually happen, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah. So we just gonna roll through the spirit, Lord, when it's edifying to the elect. We got it, brother. Come on, come on. So, uh, the first scripture, uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8 The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. And a pestilence. So that's what the ancient prophets I uh, spoke of, man. War, I uh, we mean different battles, different uh, empires going to each other. I right, evil meaning bad time and pestilence. I right, different diseases and it's nothing new. You get um, First Corinthians fourteen and thirty two because the spirits of the prophets is subject to the prof prophets, man. The prophets are back here and that's how the Lord speaks to the world, man, through His prophets. You got it, brother. The book of First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse thirty two. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Yeah, so the, the Lord is always going to have prophets uh, uh, speak his word. Uh, before uh, empire uh, comes down, the Lord uh, uh, has a prophet uh, go, go to prophesy against that city, man. Just how what the Lord did with, with uh, Nineveh mm -hmm. uh, in the book of Jonah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, even though it, it didn't uh, be destroyed at that time, but eventually it was destroyed. All right? Whatever you had. Um, if you had some, if not, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I was gonna go bring out, um, because you made you, you mentioned in the in the beginning of this lesson that the the Lord had the prophets write this um the prophecies in a book mm -hmm. and remind me of Isaiah chapter thirty verse eight. Yep. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book mm -hmm. that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Yep. All right, and as you see, uh. These events that are happening on on the world, you know, on the global level, like for example, you have uh, literally uh, the United States military shoot down a NATO member's drone. Yep. All right, that's going into the Bishah Yep. All right, the Lord is staring up that these NATO allies are getting angry with America. Yep. All right, not to mention this Ukraine war. All right, which is costing a lot of money. All right, to the European Union. All right, all those countries in the European Union. Mm -hmm. All right, and those are the, the ten horns that gave their power onto the beast, which is NATO. Yep. All right, um, so you know you're seeing these things. It's like, hey, hey, these prophecies are coming to pass, and and the prophets wrote the, wrote them down. All right, so that in our times we can receive it and understand what's going on. That's right. All right, you got all these various like uh, you know a pestilence. All right, it ain't just the the crown. You got Ebola. You got uh, okay. Um, Hepatitis one, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right, you got um, the new one. Uh, get ready. They talk about tuberculosis spreading like wildfire. Yep. All right, hey, the, the prophets prophesied pestilence. Mm -hmm. All right, so hey, uh, and the thing is, you know, you there are certain men on this on this earth that have the spirit of prophecy in them, and yep. that's why again when we brought out First Corinthians chapter uh, fourteen, verse thirty two. Hey, these are the same prophets coming back, yep. preaching the same thing over and over and over again. Yep. But you got it, bro. I got precept. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 42, bear with me. Mm -hmm. I'll get um, Habakkuk. All right, two? Yeah. I've had that too. Okay, come, come. But I'll bring this out first. Isaiah chapter 42, bear with me. Mm -hmm. 
uh, yeah, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8, it says, I am the Lord, Yahweh. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So the heavenly father, his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And uh, they're going to get the glory for, for uh, the destruction of Babylon and the, and the deliverance for the nation of Israel, because that's going to happen too. a great deliverance. The Lord's going to deliver the elect of Israel from all the lands that are scattered. But the major deliverance is going to be here in Babylon, the great, which is America. Mm -hmm. And this place gonna get hit with 200 million nuclear warheads, but the Lord's going to beam up the elect uh, uh, via the chariot, so-called UFO, man. And he's going to get all the praise. He's not going to give praises. All right, the world, all right, they're going to know that it's Yahweh my shot, not Allah, not Buddha, right. All right, not Christ. None of that. It's going to be Yahweh Bashim my shot, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse, uh, Nine, it says, Isaiah 42 9 says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Mm -hmm. So, before something happens, the Lord tell you of them. I'm gonna read in the NLT, uh, Isaiah 42 and verse 9 in the NLT it says, Everything I prophesied has come to pass, and now will I prophesy again. I will tell you the future before it happens. So that's what the prophets do. We tell you the future before it happens. And when it happens, you're going to know that a prophet was amongst you. you got that's right. That's right. Um, you know what? Uh, prophets are also known for bringing out uh, judgments. Yep. All right. Uh, this is Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Uh, Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And thy judgments are as the light. That goeth forth, right? So the prophets, okay, are, are bringing out, okay, the prophecies, okay, of, of the future, okay, and the future is is ultimately a, a judgment, yep. all right? And that's why you see wars and evils and pestilence because, hey, the prophets, all right, are telling you, hey, this this is what's uh, coming to the earth, and now you see it. Mm -hmm. So, the hey, you people are being judged, and yep. the Lord's using the prophets, all right, all right, to judge you, okay, with the, with the words of... Okay, uh, of their mouth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, because we ain't we ain't got to do nothing. All we got to do is bring out. Hey, you see all the pestilence that's going on in the right. earth? Well, the Lord said He was going to do that. Yep. You see the wars and rumors of wars. You see the world uh, World War Three literally. All right, kicking in the door. Well, guess what? All right, it, uh, according to the scriptures, that's supposed to happen. Yep. And the Lord's using the prophets to tell you that's supposed to happen. Okay, evil, bad times. Okay, economic calamity, famine. Okay, uh, oh, another one, uh, conscription, uh, draft. Yep. You got the Army War College, all right, literally writing, okay, uh, um, papers and documents about how the, uh, replacement is low, and they're going to have to, it looks like they're going to have to do a partial conscription, which that's confusion. Right. That's still, that's talking about a draft, yep. okay? This whole partial conscription, it's all BS, man, yep. all right? And, and, and again, the prophets are here to tell you, hey, this is judgment. All right. Yep. This is judgment from the Lord. All Come right. On. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 33 and verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Mm -hmm. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So when these things happen, you're going to know that men was out there on the highways and byways, you know, week in and week out, year after year, telling you these things going to happen. So when that happens, you're going to know, oh, damn, they would try to warn us. They was the good guys. They was the ones who was telling us this, these things from Yahweh Bashi Shai. Mm -hmm. you know, brother. Right. Because. We're the watchmen. We're right. seeing, all right, and we have to tell you what we're seeing. Cause, right. hey, if we don't tell you, then hey, that's that's our necks on the line. Right. The blood is on the us. blood is on us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Habakkuk chapter two. I'm gonna start at one. Yep. Uh, you can break it down, Come brother. Uh, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Yep. So we standing upon our watch, man. We are watchmen to the house of Israel, man. A mm -hmm. watchman, he would sit on the tower and he would watch. Then when the enemy come in, he would blow a trumpet, man. Mm -hmm. That's how we blowing the trumpet of war, Jacob's trouble, man. All right, even Esau with that, with that emergency thing, um, what was it, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, at, uh, yeah. Like that was like a little yep. small trumpet. Like, right. everybody phoned, but nobody was afraid, you know? Right, exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and why are they doing that? Because they're getting ready right. for war, man. Yep. All right, they're getting ready for calamity. Okay, mm -hmm. and these people are still, you know, heads in the clouds. You Americans are proud, right? All right, but it, it makes sense because, hey, according to prophecy, this is that uh, careless city yep. that that dwells without walls. Yep. Okay, that you know, that um, they sit it sits a queen, all right, and they don't think they could be ta taken down. Right. 
All Some right. No sorrow. Yep. These people are, are lost in the clouds, man. Why all all hell is breaking breaking loose around the globe, but everybody here in America thinks everything's okay, mm-hmm. even though they in, in in debt and prices are rising. Yeah. You know, getting stabbed up, but they still delusional, think everything gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. You got it, brother. Uh, Habakkuk chapter two verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, mm-hmm. and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Yeah, so the Lord, he speaks unto us, you know, via the prophets. And what we get reproved, then what we go on and teach, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, King David said, I uh, cleanse him. And then he would, uh, uh, re- he would bring sinners unto the Lord. You know, and then he would, he would uh, teach the word, man. Mm-hmm. That's what the Lord do. We get rebuked. We cleanse our way. And then we go out and teach, man. You got it, brother. Two. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. And make it plain upon tables. Yeah, the vision, meaning these prophecies, man. Mm-hmm. Jacob's trouble, the RFID chips, a martial law, famine, pestilence. All right, the vision is, is the, the vision is written. He mm-hmm. said, make it plain upon tables, man. All right, the prophets, all right, they got these uh, visions. That's why they was called seers, because the Lord deal with and they would see the future, mm-hmm. and they would write them down. So that was, that's the vision, man. Mm-hmm. Like you all, they, they bring out that precept with no uh, vision of people perish, man. That's right, that's right. You know? Um and you know that RFID chip, the market beast, it's coming, man. Yep. You got the these um, financial institutions, these governments, they they're going digital. Yep. They're going to the blockchain technology. All right, and it don't matter what cryptocurrency, digital currency you have. All right, you got to be in that system, man. Yep. And that's leading to straight to the market of beast, the RFID chip, man. All right. If you want to buy and sell, you got to have a device in you, man. Yep. And that's a major prophecy because. Yep. The, the, those who know certain groups that uh, call themselves Israelites, they're not warning the people that of uh, Jacob's trouble. I mean, uh, Jacob's trouble end with the hour of temptation, man. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna be able to do nothing unless you have that uh, that uh, RFID chip. Just how you couldn't do nothing unless you got that jab, man. In yep. certain places, man, it's yeah. nothing new. He saw he's doing the same uh, scheme, but it's just gonna be life or death at that point. Mm-hmm. But you got trust in the Lord. You got to brother. You got to always, you know, put your trust in the Lord. Um. Yeah, so let me continue yeah, on to this. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table, that he may run that readeth it. Yeah, well, so so when you hear these words, what? You go run right, and, and teach it to the highways and byways, because the Lord told us to compel them in, you know, bid them to the marriage. You got mm-hmm. it, brother. Three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm-hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, so these prophecies not going to tarry. You know they're speaking right now, man. Mm-hmm. All right, the, the the world is in uproar, uproars, man. That's that's a sign that what our Lord is about to return, man. All mm-hmm. right, things getting so uh, expensive. All right, that's a sign a, a terrible time. More violence about to happen. People are about to invade each other, man. Right. You know that's the time we living in. Perilous times. Right. Right. You got it, brother. Um. You said things are getting more expensive. It reminded me of Revelation um, 6 yep. with the black horse, yep. you know, because, hey, uh, that's t- t- prices uh, is skyrocketing, all right? Food prices are going up, all right? And they're, and they're admitting it, yep. you know? And the crazy thing is that they don't even include, you know, that's how wicked this government is. They don't even include the inflate. They don't even include, they don't include food and energy with the inflation, mm. Okay. And that's the two major things that keep going up. Right. Energy prices and food prices. Yep. Okay? That's why they're lying. They say, oh, inflation is down. No, it's bullshit, man. Total bullshit. Not even including the food. (laughs) Yep. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse uh, 5. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, lo, a black horse. Mm -hmm. And he that sat on him. And a pair of balances in his hand. Yep, going into uh, measures, man. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, you got it, brother. Con, six. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Yep. All right, that's talking about, hey, the the, the food price, yep. all right, uh, it's so expensive that even a, a, a day's a, a wage, all right, you can only get uh, um, some, some barley and, and, and some, uh, what's it called? And some wheat. Some wheat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a day's wage just to get a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. I'll um, read it in NLT. I yeah. Con, it, con. it breaks down. Yeah. And then of course the, the to not hurt the oil and the wine is, is this truth. truth yeah. Cause this truth is always going to stand. 
Yep. All right. Yep. I read the NLT. It mm -hmm. says, um, Revelation six and verse six in the NLT. It says, and I heard a voice from among the four living, from the four living beings, saying, a loaf of wheat, a loaf of wheat bread, or three loaves of barley will cost a day's pay. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and don't waste the olive oil and the wine. So the point was, a, a loaf of wheat bread and three loaves of barley would cost a whole day's of pay. Right. People make like what nineteen dollars, twenty dollars an hour, whatever, fifteen dollars an hour, eight hours a day, however much that is. That's gonna cost you a a loaf of bread. Right. Man. And <laughs> that's <laughs> and that's and that's judgment. That's crazy. Yeah. That's just and that's judgment. That's why you know when you go says in a black horse. Oh. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. It's talking about judgment. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the the lack of bread, the lack of, you know, food. All right. That that what the brother just brought out in the LLT version. All right. That costing that much. All right. And a day's a day's labor. Right. And that's how much, it, you know, you, right. you can't afford that. I say uh, what people like, like 19 times. What, yeah. Uh, 12 hours. Right. They work overtime. Most of them like eight hours. Mm -hmm. I say 12 hours. Two hundred and twenty-eight dollars for a loaf of bread. For a loaf of bread, <laughs> man. That's just they gonna kill each other, bro. These people are gonna turn into the purge, purge babies. So that's that's the reason why, man. You know, the Lord, we we bring we come out week in and week out. We bring out the words of prophecy, all right, to tell you things before they happen, because this is gonna happen. This has to happen, all right, because the words of the Lord are faithful and true. Yep. Okay, and that's why you know to our people. You know, you need to be seeking the Lord. You need to repent because, all right, you're at the bottom. All right? You don't get, you don't even get paid, all right, $228, right. all right, uh, a day. Right. A lot of y'all make minimum wage, yeah, okay? Cut your hours. Your hours are getting cut, all right? So that's why you have to, you know, uh, hearken to the prophets, all right, because they're set up by Yahweh Bashim al all right, to warn you. To get that fear in you to to seek him yep. and not be caught up in Babylon the Great mm -hmm. and this freaking madness, this uh, harlot of a place right. with all these weirdos and freaks and idolaters. All they do is worship different idols, mm -hmm. man. All right, that's all these yeah. people do in America. America's one big idol worshiping altar, man. Yeah, that's why the Lord say he gonna burn this place. Yeah, man. you know, yeah, it's it's only getting worse. Mm -hmm. You had another or... um seven. No, this even gets better. Check this out. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. Mm -hmm. Eight. And I looked and behold, a pale horse. And his, hand, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell fouled with him. Yep. Okay? A lot of death about to happen. And power was given out to them over the fourth part of earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Yep. So there's going to be a lot of uh, death, man. I right, hear uh, Babylon the Great. Right, there's gonna be a lot of uh, killings around the world, mm -hmm. you no, know, but mainly here in Babylon, man. Right, and big wars are coming. Yep. When when people are hungry, hey, people do crazy things, and that's why you know these wars are gonna get bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, they're gonna be fighting over food and fighting over water. Oh, get ready for a lack of water. Yeah. All right, that's another thing. Okay. Yep. All right, they're talking about um, rationing out water. And then how it's a it's a luxury. It's no longer a privilege. It's a luxury, man. Yep. Okay. It's only bad out here, man. See those other countries? They have to go far to get water. Yep. Our people they just go to the water fountain or they go to the store, Publix, Walmart, mm -hmm. gas station. That shit not gonna be acceptable like that. Accessible because mm -hmm. when all oh, hell, even looking like a hurricane or something, people they rush the store. They no more bottled waters. Yep. You no. Know? It's it's, it's, it's gonna get true, real, man. It's gonna get real. I got a precept though. God. A uh, second edge is sixteen in verse. 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days because the lord showed ezra's like these end time prophecies man he was like woe is me was who's going to deliver me in those days but uh through the spirit he knew that the lord was going to deliver him and we got that comfort and the lord's going to deliver us man mm -hmm. like because ezra saw the crowning of the elect man mm -hmm. you know verse 18 says the beginning the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Man, so the beginning, beginning of sorrows, mourning, great uh, evils, great uh, the beginning of wars. I, I just say, what he's going to do? All right, the same thing, all right, what we going to do? We're going to 
Pray, uh, pray to the Lord, man. Ask the Lord to, for, to help us in these times of Jacob's trouble, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse 19 says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments. All right. Scourges for correction. For correction. But the Lord said this. I mean, but uh, the Lord told Edges this. Says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So our people are going to continue in this wicked uh, mindset until what those nukes uh, hit their ass, man, mm -hmm. or they be in the concentration camp, man. All right? This, that's the mindset of these people. That's why you can't go out the ways of Babylon, man. Right, because they're going to take the chip, and that's it. Once they, They're going to take the chip out of desperation. Yep. All right? You know, you people talking about, I ain't going to take that chip. Hey, when the stomach starts growling, all right, and your children are complaining that they're hungry, yep. and your wife is nagging you saying she's hungry, well, your wife's going to, you know, your woman, the women are... Yeah. are they're gonna the first, the first they gotta run and get the chip. Yep. All right, because women are 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 the weaker vessel. Yep. So they are gonna run and right basically leave your ass. Yep. But eventually you are gonna okay are gonna conform. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're not seeking the Lord and you gonna take that chip, that's why we fear the Lord. That's yep. why we keep going in it. All right, with over with the same scriptures over and over again. Mm -hmm. All right, bring out uh, uh you know the prophecies over and over again. All right. Uh um. Staying spiritual, okay? More spirit, less flesh, mm -hmm. okay? Shoot, you got... Now, now, you know, we're more even conscientious of what we're eating, man. All right. all right, we're trying to do everything we can so the Lord can protect us, all right, when the hour of temptation comes, man. All right, all right? because it is coming. And a lot of you Jakes that know that you're Israelites, you're going to fold too, man. Yep. All right, because you were BSing, man. Yep. Okay? I got... Oh, you got it. I got one more, just because we, okay. we quoted it and I found it. Uh, Proverbs 29, verse uh, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. You know? And that's the thing, man. The bulk of our people, whether whether they know that they're Israelites or not, all right, they don't see the vision. They don't see this, this kingdom going down. They don't see the RFID chip. In fact, there's certain groups out there that are talking against, all right, uh, what we're teaching yeah. in, in terms of what the the mark is, yeah. which is a karagma, all right. Mm -hmm. Like clearly, um, they they're literally setting they're they're setting up the system for you to take that that device, right. all right. And you got uh, uh, what's it called? They're um, they're rationing the food, all right. They're pulling everything back, mm -hmm. all right. They're setting it up, all right, for you to go and run and take that chip. Yep. You got a lot of our people, even those that know that the Israelites. All right, I can't see. Like, holy shit, this is coming. Yeah. All right, then they plan to get around. Like, the, you know, uh, this week, uh, just recently, they're playing around with the name. Yeah, they're calling on. Okay, they're saying the Lord has many names. Are you out of your mind, man? Yeah, you all right, this is deadly serious. That's why a lot of y'all that know what you're like, All right, the Lord gonna put you to death. Uh, you know what? If you don't, if you don't have anything, uh, judgment must begin at the house of Israel, uh, Peter, at the house of the Most High. First Peter four. Right. Yep. Because you can't see that. All right, you need to call on one name in order to be delivered. There's one name. All right, there's the one name for the Father. There's one name for the Son. Mm -hmm. Okay? And in order for you to be uh, delivered, all right, you need to know that name. And that's, again, why uh, you don't got the vision. All right? Because he's saying you could call. Uh, he has various names. That's, uh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, you, you bugged out. You got it. First Peter chapter 4, verse 7 says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Right. All those that know that they that know that they're Israelites. Yep. All right. And the Lord is watching you. All right. And He's keeping tabs, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Because you got this truth, but you're playing games with it. All right. Or you're still being okay of the world. Yeah, deceitful. All right. Deceitful. And the Lord sees all your deceitfulness. All right. When nobody's looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why you need to move. You need to uh, really evaluate. Okay. Um, this truth. All right, and really, okay, fear the Lord and preach the right thing 100%, not 99, not 98, man. Right. You need 100% truth to get up out of here. Right, because you add, if you add or take away from the scriptures, the Lord's, Lord's not going to add these plagues upon you, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First Peter 4, 17 says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Mm -hmm. and, if it, so, and if it first begin at us, what shall be the end? Be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High, man. So they're going to get put to death too, man. Right. Yep. All those that, okay, ignore this truth, that are in plantation Christianity. You jakes that are in plantation Christianity, you you marked for judgment, man. Through. Okay? You got pestilence, famine, okay? Uh, um, uh, Gurkha troops, 
Okay, you uh, you women in the uh, you women too that are in those plantation Christian mm -hmm. churches. You got uh, get ready for being ravaged. Yep. Okay, it's gonna be a, a, a nasty environment, man. Yeah. Purge. Okay. Yeah, man. Not, nothing's in those uh Harlem those churches, man. All right, there's a, there's a next to my gym. There's a church there. And you see niggas outside smoking before they go into the church. Like yeah. it's just like a concert, man. Right. The Lord's about to slay all you church goers, man. <laughs> Uh, uh, let me just finish no, so, it, uh, Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 Where there is no vision The people perish mm -hmm. But he Which is the elect Okay That keepeth the law Meaning the instructions The directions of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai That are preaching The right doctrine Okay That fear the Lord Alright Happy is he Right Because Alright He's going to have a surety And common That the Lord is going to protect him Alright When all hell breaks loose yep. Alright Because he was doing the right thing all right, and the Lord's going, all right, to li going to lift up a standard for his elect. The Lord is going to show, all right, miracles for his elect. Right. The elect are not going to be caught out there. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. We believe that. We believe that by us doing this, the Lord going to protect us, man, and our household. That's right. All right, and our family. Yep. Our, you know, our wives, okay, children. Yep. All right? If they, you know, brothers that have children. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't got children, but we, in our camp, we have brothers that have children. Yep. Okay? That faith, man. Mm -hmm. I guess we can end off on this. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 30. I'm going to start at verse 4. It's a time of Jacob's trouble. It says, Jeremiah 34 says, And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, talking about the 12 tribes, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right. It's talking, this, these words concern us, man. All right. It says, verse 5 it says, For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling. Of fear and not of peace. So what? Peace is not coming to this place, man. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon these people, man. And they were. Right. They were talking about. Oh, let's talk with the economy. Right. Oh, it's only transitory. Oh, the inflation is only for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. All right. That that was peace and safety. Yeah. And things have gotten worse. Yep. Okay. Oh, if you take the jab, okay, you won't get inf in, uh, in infected by. Okay, the crown. Right. All right. That was a that was peace and safety. A lie. Okay. Right. And you clowns fell for it all the time, man. Right. But hey, uh, but again, like what the brother's saying is on point, man. Yep. You know. Yeah, they they just fall in line. Even <laughs> with the beginning of that thing, social right. distance. You yeah. Know, they just go. We only gonna do it for a couple of weeks. They, they had to have. They made up a whole uh a, a, a crown, whatever. Right. Whatever. They made a whole thing to get you juice. They they made a whole juice in like a week. Right. <laughs> and all y'all niggas got it, man. Man. <laughs> Y'all fell for it, man. Right. But guess what? Esau profited. Made a yep. lot of money off of your yep. dumb asses. <laughs> yep. Jeremiah 36 says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. So a man's going to be like a, a woman having birth pains, man, screaming and hollering, man. So imagine what you women going to be be doing that's why isaiah 4 one gonna happen because they these women gonna see these men out here screaming and hollering on their knees begging for help and they gonna see the man of the lord you know standing firm believing right. man that's why we tell you brothers a hey, patience right patience all right to serve the lord all right do the right thing isaiah 4 one is coming yeah a lot of these women are going to be running towards you you're yep. gonna have to be like I remember the video of Apostle Gabar. Right. You're gonna have to have a stick. You know, a stick all day. Get, yeah. to get away from get away me. From you know me, what I'm man. saying? A lot of these women are going to join to an, an, an elect of Israel. Israel, yeah. okay? Yep. Okay. A lot of women are gonna share one man out of the nation of that's Israel, right. the elect. All right. Yep. That's, again, that's part of our culture. A man can have more than one wife, mm -hmm. and the Lord's gonna bring it back, and He's gonna do it by okay, all the calamity. Right. All right. Right. So that's why brothers just wait it wait. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just be patient. Right. And just, you know, do the work. Yeah. Right? Don't worry about it. You see all these women all doing what they doing, you right. know, jumping from one man to another, all right, on they on they text message talking to a whole bunch of dudes. Yep. It's gonna be role reversal. Yep. They're gonna be trying to talk to you, all right, and and <laughs> other women are gonna be talking to you. Yep. Whether text message, whether knocking on your door, you go, how the fuck did you find run, me? Run you down. Yeah, all right? Good. So that's how it's going to be. Yep. 
Cause they see it, they see the videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna like brother said, just be patient, man. Be patient. You know the mm -hmm. Lord, the Lord gonna lift up that standard. The Lord gonna show that He's dealing with uh, the true, His true men, who His true prophets are, man. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah thirty verse seven. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's gonna be saved out of the elect, man? Mm -hmm. All right, the elect and what his his house, man. All right, like the brothers going to. Uh, Brothers are right, that have uh, wives and uh, children. The Lord's gonna keep them too, man. Cause we not in that time of seventy AD. They said, uh, uh, "Woe to the that their sup," you know, roughly mm -hmm. paraphrase. Mm -hmm. We ain't. In, that's that's with seventy AD. This is another time. The Lord's gonna deliver, man. Right. You know. Right. Yeah, Cause yeah. we're the final generation. It's time for us. All right, to be delivered. It's time for us to be up. We, you know, we already went through our punishments in various kingdoms, man, mm -hmm. being slaughtered. All right, our, our 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 children, okay, being taken right. from us, and um, our women being ravished, ravished. and our, our, our the children's head being bashed. Right. All right, you know we got the 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 the, the wicked holiday coming up, you know Cristobal Colon. You know you go into that history that you know that that happened to us. Right. You know so for the elect's sake, nah. You know yes, there'll be certain men set up to be beheaded for this truth, and those gonna have a heavy spirit on them. But for the most part, the book. Of the of the elect are gonna okay not not one hair is gonna be uh, touched on them man. That's right. The Lord gonna lift up that standard. Yeah. Miracles are coming. That's right. And you gotta believe that. Yeah, believe that. Okay. Man. You gotta believe that. We'll need those miracles. All man. right. Yep. And and that's comes with faith, man. That's the foundation of this whole thing of ours. It's faith. Yep. Faith and belief. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and you do not move in haste when things happen. Right. All right. Like these clowns moved in haste. When it came to the to the to the jab, right. that was a that was a test to see where your mind was at, right. and a lot of our people failed that test. All Esau did was, whew, he didn't come with the with the with the, all right, right with the sword yet. Right. So when he comes with the sword, man, where you faith that then? Right, go with that sword, bro. You know, <laughs> niggas gonna fold up, man. Fold up like fucking lawn chairs, <laughs> sure beach chairs, man. like a beach towel. Lay down. Like down here in South Florida, we, we bring out towels and beaches because yeah. we don't, you know, we got the beach, you know, that's, you know that, hey, that that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, or, or right. Look, looking out for us while we're in captivity, right. you know. But um, yeah, but a lot of y'all going fold, man, because mm -hmm. you didn't take this thing seriously. Yeah, the Lord wasn't dealing with y'all, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord's only we pray the Lord deal with us, man. That's all we fear the Lord and we. Do this work, man. Right. All right. To, to have the covering of our Lord Yahweh Shah on us in these times, man. Mm -hmm. But you can close out, bro. Yeah. So, Lord, well, let's edify. And again, you know, the Lord set up the prophets to tell you what's going to happen. All right. It's bad for the wicked. It's bad for the two thirds. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's good for us because we know this thing has to happen. So we get delivered. Yep. We get saved. All right. And, you know, the Lord uh, put, uh, put the spirit on us. All right. To do this work. All right, to show his glorification and and his words are faithful and true. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great right. Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on right. earth today. And citation to the Akimel, they're pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai sake. Love you, brothers. Keep the door. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep studying. Pray without ceasing. Pray for each other. Pray for the apostles and elders. That's right. All right. And as they get up in age, you know, mm -hmm. pray for you know longevity and good health. Health. Yep. You know what I'm saying. And then for the few sisters that are watching, keep studying. Stay prayed up. You know, and when you pray, pray to cover almost out of here. Right. Shalom. Shalom. And a Bible ball. Bible ball. Shalom. Shalom.